I just started a brand new account to put in to test my 300 IQ plan to buy Bob, Billy, and Duncan, and not using the usual way. I am going to use the fastest way possible but there are rules. First. I can't use my mom's credit card. Second. I am not allowed to use game glitches. Third. I can't go to work in McDonald's and just buy the gems. And lastly, the most painful one. I am not allowed to spend gems on anything else than buying Bob, Billy and Duncan. To start things off I asked some help from Cristiano Goblin although how to get gems fast as he has accumulated some wealth over the years himself but he was having a bad day and told me I won't be able to do it. In order to prove him wrong I came up with 15 ways how to make a massive amount of gems. AKA the 300 IQ plan. To buy every single main village builder that can be purchased with gems you have to make 3500 gems in total but luckily there are methods that can unlock your first builder already in few hours. Literally 90% of cock enthusiasts do not know about this secret method. I personally made 125 gems but in total you can get 1250 gems from player support. And all of that, just in 2 minutes. All you have to do is write a romantic poem to Clash of Clans customer support and okay okay I am kidding. Actually it is a lot easier. It's the Clash of Clans world championship. Simply predict who do you think is going to win each match and you can get loads of gems. But how do you predict? First go to the official Supercell event webpage. Log in with your Supercell ID. Make sure it's the correct email link to your village where you want to get those gems. Then click on the team where Klaus is and you are pretty much guaranteed to make few hundred gems. So be sure not to miss that event because there is not many ways how to make so many gems so easily. There is another very easy method I am going to show you now but before take 3 seconds to click that subscribe button for more content like this. Do you like shopping? Yeah. Do you like spending money when you shop? No. Me neither. Let me introduce to you the free shop offers that you can occasionally find, typically during special events like the Clash Aversary, Clashmas etc. If you are not much of a drinker but a gem collector like myself then simply sell these for some sweet gems. Gem mine. Can't get it. Events. Can't complete it. Raid medals. Can't have them. Clan games. Can't participate in them. Trader. If you are starting a new account you might be wondering how to unlock all of these? Well no need to worry because I have figured out the fastest and most effective solution to unlock every possible way of making gems and I am going to explain all of it later on once we have covered all the gem methods. Third method is the most consistent supply of gems and if done correctly you will make more than 50 gems within the first day. Can you spot what's wrong with this base? Man's base is as open as US Mexican border? No, it's the obstacles. Even though it might be pretty to look at it's not very effective in making gems. According to Clash of Clans wiki every village can have maximum of 45 obstacles at one time. Meaning that my guy here is not getting any new mushrooms and neither do people who start a new account and don't remove obstacles. In order for a new tree or a bush to spawn you need to remove at least 6 obstacles because a brand new account has exactly 50 of them. Since I removed more than 6 obstacles then within day 1 I made 50 to gems. Another really useful way of making gems is by attacking enemy villages. Maybe not quite like that, but yes that's absolutely correct. You can make gems by attacking and completing other season challenges that directly or indirectly will give you gems. The best way how to complete challenges quickly is by including as many troops and spells into your main army as necessary to complete the challenges so you can work on multiple tasks at the same time. Fifth method got me 70 gems in 10 minutes. What is it? It's beating Judo Sloth's creation. In case the challenge base is too difficult to complete with first try then one tip I can give you is to try out different tutorials. I personally failed on this challenge 2 times but found that Kenny Yo had one of the easiest guides how to 3 star that particular base. But wait. This is not all the gems you can earn. At the events tab there are more challenges throughout the month and in August alone there were events in total worth 500 gems. These are the methods I used on the very first day to unlock Bob. And if you paid attention then you probably noticed that I made 172 gems only. So where did I get the extra 328 gems? 
250 gems every one gets when they start a new account and rest of the gems I earned with a very profitable secret method I am going to reveal later on the video. Because I needed 1000 gems for the next builder and my gem balance looked not very pretty then I had to quickly figure out some more ways how to earn gems. Luckily I found a method to make 120 extra gems in 6 minutes. This method involves a very long and strategic planning that I am going to sum up for you in 5 simple steps. First of all, bunch of Larry's, 3 of them. David Goggins and his buddies, 20 of them. Giants, but with hair, 5 of them. Andrew Tate, but without the tower, also 5 of them. Last but not least, Barbies with a 5 second invisibility blanket, 5 of them. I am sorry I almost forgot the most important part. Now if you would like to complete all 6 attacks in 6 minutes then once the troops have been deployed simply close the app, then open the app, and repeat the attack. As we all know raid weekend rewards will be handed out every Monday so once you have all the raid medals just buy the cheapest potions and then exchange them for gems. Would you like to get 1840 gems a year without you doing anything? This type of passive income is only possible if you are going to upgrade your gem mine to max level. Already on the first day after unlocking it I made a massive profit. Do you want to get 100 gems donated to you? Well it's possible, but only if you answer yes to these three questions. Are you in a clan? Do you have people in your clan? Are any of your clan mates rich? If you answered yes to all of these questions then it's quite likely that you will get gems donated to you next time one of these events happen again. In the past this type of event has happened during the Clashmas period towards the end of the year. Few days have passed and on the 7th day I reached a town hall late which meant that finally the trader, aka the scammer, was in the town. Even though I sell my shovels for 50 gems then he sells the identical shovel with a 10 times the price. His whole shop feels like entering a Gucci store but at least once a week every Tuesday he is giving a tiny amount of his wealth away. So yes guys, make sure to claim your free reward even when it gets you 10 gems only. By the way, at the end of the day 7 I had plenty of gems to buy Bali which meant that within the first week I made 1250 gems but now I have to make almost double the amount within the same period of time in order to prove Cristiano Goblin all the wrong. Luckily the 10th method is a special one. And yes, once again we are asking gems from the player support. This time we are asking 500 gems. But how? Well have a look at this clip that someone recorded what appears to be a goblin running through the ninja warrior obstacle course for his dear life. Simply record a clip like that. Post it to Clash of Clans Reddit. Now pray that Supercell will post it to X. And if they do, then you might get 500 gems like he got. But that's not all. If you know how to hold a pencil then people who have done fan art in the past have received 500 gems as well. Remove the gem boxes. You can get a lot of gems with this next method and let me show how. As you can see my clan typically ranks for the 5th place in clan war leagues which means that the participants will get 358 medals. In case if you perform well and get the extra 90 bonus medals then in total it would be 448 medals. Best way how to convert these into gems is to buy training potions and then sell them for 10 gems which means that 1 medal equals 1 gem. Unfortunately though I created my account on 5th of August so I missed out on CWL but at least I got 50 medals for free so I was able to convert them into 50 gems. Since I had only 2 days left to find extra 700 gems then I needed to go for the highest rewarding method of them all, which is this. I know I could use some help, and definitely they could use some help with my humongous trophy presence so the only logical thing to do was to join Zeus as the season was just about to end. Before I am going to reveal the most profitable secret method there is still one really good way of earning gems that can give you up to 360 gems if you will complete clan game challenges worth of 4000 points. In case you are in a hurry then 310 gems can be earned literally in few minutes by completing just one task. Even though at the beginning of day 14 I was missing 139 gems I was still able to scrape together 2000 gems to free Duncan from slavery. 
Remember at the beginning of this video I mentioned strategical rushing to unlock every possible way of making gems? Well I created a step by step guide how to rush most effectively and also I will reveal the most profitable method that made me almost 2000 gems alone. Getting 3250 gems in 2 weeks wouldn't have been possible without the knowledge I share in this video. So feel free to check it out to double the results.